Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to subtract a fraction from a whole number. Let's jump into our example where we have 6 minus 5 eighths. Now the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to regroup or change our whole number to a mixed number and the fractional part of that mixed number needs to equal one whole and we need to keep a common denominator in mind. So for example, our six holes, we're going to regroup as five and then our fractional part needs to equal one whole. Now a fraction equals one whole when the top number, the numerator, is the same as the bottom number, the denominator. Now take a look at 5 eighths. We have a denominator of eight. So let's keep a common denominator in mind when creating this mixed number. So let's use five and eight eighths. I used eight eighths because of this denominator here. It gives us a common denominator. So five and eight eighths is equivalent to six. This is the same thing as five plus one whole because this eight eighths is one whole and we know five plus one is six. So we're not changing the value of that six or problem at all when we regroup or change that whole number to a mixed number. Now we can subtract. So I'm going to come to the side here and write our mixed number. So five and eight eighths. And again, that's equivalent to six and we are subtracting five eighths. So I can line up my fractions and now subtract. So I can do eight eighths minus five eighths, which gives us three eighths. And then we can take a look at the whole number. So we have five minus, and then we don't have a whole number there. So we just drop our five down and we get an answer of five and three eighths. We can always look to see if we can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number. Three eighths is in simplest form. The only common factor between three and eight is one. So this is done and in simplest form. Now, one more thing I do want to mention, you can write this horizontally, meaning side to side, if you prefer that way. So five and eight eighths minus five eighths. And that gives us, well, subtract the fractions, we get the same thing. Three eighths for our fractions, and then we have five holes. So five and three eighths horizontally as well. So there you have it. There's how you subtract a fraction from a whole number. Regroup or change that whole number to a mixed number where the fractional part of the mixed number equals one. Then we can subtract the fractions and take a look at the whole number to get our final answer. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.